Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Wednesday, the 20th of March. So, looking at the euro dollar, and well, uh, yesterday we ran, ran properly into that 200. We air kissed it the day before, we ran into the 200. Yeah, 200, it's not even a 200, it's a 50 moving average, but that 50, that white average, <laughs> the white one, um, yesterday, and uh, back just slightly short of um, the uh, trend line there. So, uh, that's where we were yesterday. Um, we're currently selling off a little bit from here, but uh, well, there's risk, a bit of risk with this sell off here, and I'm going to show you why. I just uh, but bear in mind that uh, uh, what we've got sitting above us here, and uh, there's a whole stack of buy orders sitting above these highs. So these highs are sitting across here. There's a whole stack of buy orders um, across the top of these highs. So sorry, I'll draw it on here. All the way up here now and beyond that is quite a thin market when i say a thin market what i mean is there's a, a no, normally um when when there's a solid you normally see selling uh pressure um above the price level and uh uh, buying pressure underneath the price level and you, you get a sort of a status quo in between somewhere um, it, where there's a mismatch of course you then get uh, price action pushing up if there's more buyers and sellers and vice versa so what we've got here is we've got potentially a stack of buyers sitting above there now I've got my, my opinion on this market is um, and we got the of course the FOMC this evening at uh, 6.30 UK time um, at six o'clock, we've got uh, the economic projections and everything coming out, the statement, and then 6.30, we've got Powell speaking himself. Now, he's speaking at every one of the press uh, the press conferences. Of course, that's what they have them for, but he's speaking at every uh, decision rate, uh, decision made this year, as I understand. And uh, so it's nothing special that he has. Now, each previous quarter, interest rates have been increased. There's no expectation at all. He's ruled that out that there'll be interest rate increases. There's still expected to point be possibly one interest rate late at some point later this year. Um, he may talk that down a little bit. There's ex an, a, a, an overall expectation that there's going to be a dovish, a dovish um, meeting and a, a dovish reply and a speech from Powell later on. And but they've been priced into this market for some time to a degree. However, with those orders sitting above there, uh, we could at some time, sometime pop up, break that, and do maybe a pop and a drop. But uh, um, there, there's well, it's all second guessing and everything else at the moment. But uh, there is still a draw. Technically, I'm just looking purely technically here. It's run back up into a resistance point. Um, it could re have a half decent retrace back towards that weekly pivot, maybe more. There's a statistical approach at looking at that weekly pivot, but uh, it's not millions and millions of points involved in here uh, at all. But uh, um, of course, not millions and millions, but there's quite a few points to be had if it was to make a decent re uh, retracement. Got to remember, fundamentally, whatever happens this evening, uh, the euro is in a worse state and the eurozone is in a worse state than the US is. And at some point, it, uh, now it may not be to, uh, today, tonight, whatever, um, I expect this euro to roll over, but uh, it may push all the way up towards that 200. Um, but whatever, um, it's, a, it's a flawed... Um, you know, the, fun the fundamentals are flawed for the uh, for the eurozone at the moment, uh, and the, if the US is weak, the euro is eurozone is so much weaker. Right, okay, so that's the euro. Um, looking, I can come down the time frames a little bit. You can see the marg marginal divergence, the highs. One thing that puts me off, and also in in some respects of this, although. Uh, um, I have to put my hand up and uh, I've got a, sh a small short position sitting in there at the moment but uh, one thing you've got to be aware of is there's unfortunately another 60% of the tr uh, in, uh, retail traders is short at the moment that always worries me when you see such high percentage but uh, there we are uh, but um, as we push through here um, it's there's technically some good sort of uh, signals through there all the way all been chewing through the weekly pivot all through the night there but uh, what we could end up today with is with some more of this sort of chop pattern that we saw yesterday so intraday traders may have a little bit of a trouble with it but we'll see um, what happens but uh, there we go that's where we are um, technically here also bear in mind we've still got the higher lows higher highs so there's still that sort of 
push and picture that's sort of been going on all the time um, so that that would be a suggestion for further upside in itself so mixed mix plenty of upsides um, potential with the orders etc over there um, on the on the sh on the short side technically we're a, a resi key resistance point right pound it's gonna be quicker now um, the pound well we've seen sort of all sorts of things here pushing up yesterday not strong enough to hold on to any gains the pound looks like it's uh, almost worth selling into um, and any sort of uh, solid push up we eventually yesterday got up to a sort of point I was looking at a couple of days ago just to break the and take the orders that were sitting above these highs here there was uh, could see was orders sitting above there it eventually went up took them at 3305 I think it was I was looking for the day before and there you go it went up to 3310 um, they, they've that's been taken out now but uh, selling off gradually there's still so much uncertainty regarding the B word um, that uh, can't really uh, comment any more on that really but uh, opportunities really sit with uh, um, outliers really um, highs and lows um, how you pick them well overbought oversold signals whatever you use um, it, it could just uh, continue in what is this uh, sort of uh, last uh, four, four days of um, uh, price action just pretty much drifting sideward okay dolly yen now uh was yeah big picture i've been looking at this and um, bullish big picture short short term i mean they were certainly looking yesterday that it might have continued to the downside but it's broken that sort of short term trend there uh, put a higher low in in doing so and well uh the, again who knows what's going to happen after the fed meeting there but um if if uh, if powell isn't quite as dovish as some expect this could continue its push up there quite solidly Today we have got a week a daily pivot underneath untouched so far, so any sell-off would give it a bit of a target. But uh, you're not talking masses and masses of points, maybe 10 or 20 points sitting in that if it to the downside. But uh, you'd need to see a reversal first. Okay, Aussie dollar. Whoops, changed the wrong chart. Let's uh, switch into Aussie dollar mode. Here we go. Aussie. Um, <sighs> still fundamentally weak um, the numbers and the uh, the sentiment was pretty dovish um, and really my, my big picture still sit, sits here on a on a on a more bearish sort of zone however got to bear in mind that uh, well it was putting high lows higher highs and it looks like it's rolled over a little bit there but a solid push up at the moment um, it's well got the daily pivot just above it there that might in its sense uh, give it on normal days give us a sell point it uh i say normal days because anything can happen on fomc day for sure um and you really posi position traders may may be keeping out this market but uh normally uh on a, on a pitch up like this you could see possibly some selling um okay um let's see aussie dollar canadian dollar Canadian dollar. Yeah, I was talking about it yesterday, the consolidation phase here, it, where it did pitch on a bit further to the downside there, but didn't ma really manage to hold on to its gains, and it's uh, pushed back up again at the moment. Um, the Canadian dollar is sort of not really holding on properly, but uh, it did come down to that four hourly two hundred. Um, from where for from here, well, it's it's a bit open and it's it's chopping along. Is a daily pit there? Uh, is a daily pivot below, which uh, could see uh, as a target at some point today. But uh, again, um, with this with this news out later, it may just be ch a bit chop chop. Now, I should have said with when uh, with Newswise, just looking through the news, um, one currency that will be affected by news this morning is the inflation data coming out for the UK. Looking at the wage inflation yesterday, which was better than expected, higher wages than expected uh, shown there. We could see the CPI rise a little bit here. It's expected to come in at 1.8. That will push the pound up if it was to be coming up higher because obviously at some point um, it puts pressure on to talk about interest rate increases but uh, at this stage with the B word around we can't really talk about that 
Okay, um, if you follow the New Zealand dollar, there is news later out uh, to this quarterly uh, GDP data coming out at 9.45 this evening. So if you're a GDP trader, watch out for that. Otherwise, just watching for those FMC numbers. Have a great day. Bye for now. Thank you.